Hey, Jonathan Boshoff here. Here's a quick walkthrough of how to automate your anchor text recommendations using AI. So in the past, this is a pretty manual process. You have to read the page and you have to find good linking opportunities. Um, it can take a lot of mental effort to do that. Um, but with AI, it's a lot easier. And I'm going to show you exactly how I'm able to do that using a cool new app called Moonlit. And we'll get into that in a second. But first, you're going to need three things. So the first thing you'll need is your source page. This is the page that you're going to be working on. Um, so you want to identify a page that you're going to edit, and then you're going to need a destination. So you're going to need to identify where you want to link to. So in my case, I'm going to be linking this page, how to find and measure an engagement ring size. I'm going to be linking that to my page about ring resizing costs. Then you're going to need one more thing which is a target keyword. And the target keyword will inform your anchor text. Um, so I would recommend just going for a variation of the primary keyword. So the primary keyword would be what somebody would search for to find this page. So because this page is about ring resizing costs, that's kind of the primary keyword is ring resizing costs. So if I can use that as my primary keyword or something very similar, I'm in the green. And uh, just a little tip, it's actually better to vary your anchor text. You don't want to use the same one over and over again. It's actually better to mix it up a little. Uh, so don't worry about not having an exact match anchor text. It's definitely not necessary to do every single time. And next, once you have that, so you got your source, your destination, and you have an idea of what kind of target keyword you want to use, uh, then I'm going to hop into Moonlit, which is basically just a no-code app builder. And as you can see, I already have this plugged in. So I have the, uh, the page that will be linked to the target keyword and the page content URL. Then I'm going to run my app, and it's going to scrape the page. And then it's going to use OpenAI GPT logic to read the page and provide some anchor text recommendations. So I click this, drag it over, and here are my recommendations. So they're not going to be perfect because an AI does not understand the same kind of context that a human can, um, but it's pretty close and it takes a lot of the legwork out of the task. So it shows me where to add the link and how I can add the link, which makes my life way easier because usually when I'm working on internal linking, um, I'm doing it from like a spreadsheet and I'm trying to do like 50 pages all in one go or something like that. Um, so this makes it way easier because it's gonna read the page for you and just kind of show you where to plug your links in. Next, I'll show you how Moonlit works. It's actually really cool. Um, basically, you have your inputs. So I've got some text input there for the target keyword and the URLs. I've got my logic. So I have two bits of logic here. One is to scrape the page, and the other is to uh, use OpenAI to process the page. So you can see that I'm kind of pulling in the the different uh, elements like the destination and the target URL into my open AI prompt. And then I have some actual prompt instructions below as well. And some system messages, basically specifying like what the AI's task is, and uh, output settings such as using markdown and things like that. And then finally, you just add an output. So a text output, I link it to my GPT uh, module and then it's good to go. So then I have my little link building app or little anchor text recommendation app, and it's done and very easy to use. So in the past, I would have built this out using like GitHub and Streamlit and stuff, but Moonlit basically does it for you. And that's only scratching the surface of what this app can do. Like you can actually plug in your own models and databases and do all kinds of cool stuff with it. Um, but you do not have to use uh, Moonlit. You can actually do it within ChatGPT. Um, so if you want to just 
do this exact same thing and you just want to do it in chat GPT, I provide instructions on that in my blog post. Uh, so if you're not checking out my blog post, I'll provide a link to it in the description and then you can just take a look at it. Um, and that's, that's really it. So go ahead and give it a try, try the moonlit version or head over to my blog post and try the chat GPT version. Um, and on my blog post, I also have a link to the, uh, to the moonlit app. So you can actually embed it on a web page, or you can just click this link and it'll give you like the full screen version of the app. So you can give it a try really cool, really easy and intuitive platform. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you want to get more cool tips like this, you can follow me on LinkedIn. Just look for me on, on LinkedIn, type me in there in the search bar and you can also join my AI SEO community. So I'm building a little community here of uh, SEO enthusiasts and uh, digital marketers who want to learn how to leverage AI. And I've already got some pretty cool people in there. We've got some AI founders, we've got developers, SEO leaders, really cool people in the group, and we're trying to grow it. So if you're interested in joining us, it's free to join. Uh, so look for the AI SEO community. I'll provide a link to that as well and uh, you're welcome to join us. Um, and if you want to get more cool tips like this every week, you can also subscribe to my newsletter. I post something cool like this every week. Uh, and you'll, if you subscribe, you'll be the first to hear about it. Uh, that's it. Hope this helps and hope you have a great day. Thanks.